It initially started from me wanting to understand why I had so much difficulty getting financial aid in the past when I was going to school and then I was trying to apply for financial aid but I didn't understand anything on the forms and I realised that hey, there is something going on in in the bigger scheme of things that like there are certain policies or certain things being done behind the scene and that prompted me to decide on PPE as a major to want to, to start to understand how these different things that affect the daily lives of individuals came to light. So that is why I embarked upon PPE as a major. Yeah. I think it is the opportunity to apply the different theories that you often hear in the news or just on different TV programs, like for example, the trolley dilemma. You apply these things not only in theory, but you apply these things in real life. So what am I talking about here? I'm talking about, oh, so now you not only have to make a decision between your relative lying on the train track versus that of five different strangers, but now you're thinking about, are you going to be sacrificing a small population of the poor in order to, for example, benefit a much larger section of the economy. I think these questions are larger things or larger problems that we face in society or in the world today that is really very interesting. But I am not capable of applying or understanding these things in the first place if not for the stuff that I've learned in PPA at large. So that was why, that was what excited me and that is what continues to excite me for PPA. Yeah. Yeah. I'm planning to go embark upon my master's program um, looking at UK universities to further my understanding of how diplomacy is being conducted in the world and subsequently I plan to enter either the civil service or enter international organisations such as the UN in order to un further my understanding of how policies are being conducted around the world. Yep. I'm definitely, because I'm planning to embark upon a road of international policy in the future. I'm planning to study um, how states react to one another. I'm planning to understand whether is it possible for us to have more lasting peace in the world that we have today. And having the basic theories of PPE not only allows me to understand where all these different policies that different countries had, have adopted came from, the kind of ethics behind their actions, the practicality of the different policies that they have in place in order to bring about cooperation. I think these skills of understanding different perspectives is very necessary in the world that we live in today and will also be very crucial in whatever I want to do in the future as well, even if I'm not doing international policy making. Yeah. I actually was very fortunate to get a spot with the College of Alice and Peter Tan, a residential college in NUS, and that was fundamental in getting me started, getting me a social support circle, finding seniors that were able to help me, but not many seniors were able to help me understand the syllabus that I had, because after all, PPE is a new major, as you guys might know, and being able to create the PPE club with a bunch of like-minded peers in order to get us started on having an environment that's conducive for PPE majors to interact, to get, um, to get their social support circles and also to understand the major that they're embarking upon, that was also fundamental for me in not only being able to understand my own major, but also being able to understand the motivations of my peers around me. And I think these things were crucial in university because after all, university is not only about just studying and just reading a book, right? It's really about the social interactions and the connections that you make that really makes the degree valuable. And these are the things that will really get you started in acclimatizing to university life and hopefully finding a group of friends that will last for a long time to come. Interdisciplinary learning is one buzzword I think many people throw around, but there is a very solid foundation to it, is that many problems in the world are increasingly multifaceted. I mean, looking at the case of inequality, people see that, say that, oh, it's purely an economic problem. No, it is a political problem, it is a philosophical problem, and more often than not, it's also a human problem, it's a societal problem. It, does not just span one specific discipline alone and being able to understand different perspectives of how people see the world will be very useful in bringing about consensus. Even in like for example the case of agriculture, the case of food shortages, the, for scientists trying to understand the world they will need the extra perspectives from philosophy, from economics in order to better understand how their solutions can better the world. So I believe that interdisciplinary learning will be very helpful for anyone to get a better sense of where their place in the world will be and how they can best contribute to the world at large. So actually 
Something that is very interesting for me was that FAS has allowed me to see many different people from across the world. So I'm not, I'm not talking about just across Singapore here. I mean, many of the people interested in FASS have heard of interesting personalities such as Professor Bilbe Singh or um, Professor Bilahari Kausikan. But looking further, we actually have opportunities to interact with people from across the world, like I mentioned. So we actually had General David Petraeus coming to speak to us recently. He was the former head of the CIA. And understanding his perspectives on why intervention in the US was important was something that was very il illuminating for me. And being able to see all these different people come together to, and being so willing to speak to people from FASS, that was something really that, that was something that was really exciting for me. And I'm really looking forward to hearing more from people like them and being able to understand the world more.